Hey y'all, what's up? It's I'm here in another YouTube video today. Um, today I'm gonna do an update on the mass shooting in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I actually got a good bit of updates. Um, now I know I said a lot were dead yesterday. Um, there are a lot of different reports going around, so I kind of went in the middle with the numbers. Um, last I checked, it was four. Now police are saying three are dead and eleven are injured. It says nine of the um, nine out of the eleven injured are gunshot wounds. Um, I'm not sure where the other two would be. Uh, they said people are fighting to get out, um, trampling over people, so maybe just minor injuries. Uh, it says the suspect was 24. He was out of Baltimore. It says it's not being treated as a terrorist activity; it's being treated as a criminal act. It says the sheriff's office in Jacksonville, Florida, has the lead in the case. Uh, the FBI is assisting in the case. There's still no motive confirmed to why he would do this. It says there were 50 people inside the building at the time when he started shooting. It says three and one hospital were reported in stable condition. Six victims were transported to one hospital. Then they were all moved to another, ages 20 to 35. Um, five of them are in stable condition. One is in critical condition. Uh, the FBI did go to the house of where he lived. Um, his father was there. Um, his mother and father did get a divorce, so it's just his father living there. Uh, they said it was an upscale neighborhood. Said the FBI swarmed the house. Um, they were seen wearing bulletproof vests and carrying long guns. Uh, appears they didn't take no evidence out of the house. It says they did find his vehicle. Uh, investigators and police impounded it. It says he was eliminated from the tournament before the shooting. Um, it says he was also hospitalized for mental illness, documents show. Now, the mental illness part, you know, um, who knows why he has mental illness. You know, it says he was um, uh, in psychiatric hospitals two times. Uh, it says he was on antipsychotic medication and antidepressant medication. Now, um, whether that would be from his mother and father divorcing, um, playing video games, you know, um, watching movies, uh, hanging out with the wrong people, um, you know, it could be anything. And, you know, people claim video games do a lot. And, you know, to me, playing video games doesn't make you mentally ill, okay? Some video games, you know, might have bad stuff in it, but that's why they have ratings, you know, E, T, and M, you know, don't play it if you're not over that age, and, you know, also, you gotta know when to stop playing, you know, you can't, you gotta know when to stop, um, it says he did purchase two handguns, um, one was a 9 millimeter, one was a 45 caliber, he purchased them all legally within the past month, it says he had both of them, and extra ammunition inside the restaurant where the competition took place. Um, it says there was two family members there that were killed, uh, 22 and 27. The 22-year-old was from West Virginia, and the 27-year-old was from California. Now, police did say there was no indication of him going to shoot uh, at the tournament. But, you know, who knows? Um, you know, you're not always going to get an indication. You know, somebody can just purchase guns, not shoot. You know, somebody can purchase guns, you might not even know it, and then be a mass shooting or a terrorist activity event. Um, now, people are now saying, though, it's shooting. It was clear he targeted other gamers. But, you know, that's just something speculating. Um, you know, I heard one person say... You know, he wasn't targeting gamers. One person said it was. You know, these are all just from witnesses. Um, none of it's confirmed. You know, a lot of people are saying it's not real. and That's real. Some people saying it's R. You know, um, me personally, uh, I think just from the facts that I've read and what I got yesterday, um, I think, you know, he probably was targeting other gamers, and especially ones that were still in the tournament, you know, um, you know, I think he did it because he lost, um, 
did mental illness play a part in it? Who knows? Um, you know, and it could be maybe they just took him off his medication or he didn't take it that day. Um, you know, who knows? And, you know, it could be just mental illness. He didn't take his medicine or it could just be he got mad and irate and just lost. And a couple people are coming forward saying that, you know, he got very irate and angry after he lost and then he just started shooting up the place. So, you know, it's still unclear what the motive is. Um, it does look like it's more of a targeting people that were still in the tournament. And me personally, as of right now, that's what I think it is too. You know, just from all the facts that I've got, I don't really think it was a mental illness issue. Um, like I said, it could have been. That could have been a part in it. Uh, it could have just been all that. Um, it could have just been he got mad and irate and lost. Um, it could be a combination of both, like I said. Um, you know, I'm going to keep updating this video as it comes along. You know, there's still a lot of unanswered questions, you know, where he got the guns from, um, if his dad knew, did he take his medicine that day. Um, I'm sure they'll find a motive um, next couple days. So I'm gonna keep doing updates on this video, um, let y'all know what I find out. Um, with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this video, um, how y'all feel, what you think the motive is, um, why you think he did it, and what y'all think about this whole situation. Uh, let me know what you think, and thank you for watching.